Hey guys, Jed here. Welcome to another video. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to solve simultaneous equations using the elimination method. Now, in order to solve simultaneous equations, you have to know how to solve linear equations. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below for that lesson if you need to check it out. Also, at any stage of this lesson, if you feel like you're learning or understanding the topic and you wish to support the channel, leaving a like and subscribing will really help out. So thank you. Okay, so you can solve simultaneous equations in four steps. So step one, you want your x's or your y's to be the same value. You can either choose your x's to be the same or your y's to be the same. It really doesn't make a difference. In this case, I'm going to choose my x's to be the same. So step one, how do you get your x's to be the same? You have to manipulate both equations. And this is how I do it. I'm going to take the coefficient of x in my second equation, so this three, and multiply it onto the first equation both sides, times 3, times 3. And I'm going to do the same for the second equation, except I'm going to take the coefficient of my x from the first equation and multiply that onto the second equation. So times 2, times 2. So this number here. So this is step 1. So now I'm just going to rule off. And now we can perform the calculations for this. So it's going to be 3 times 2 which is 6x, 3 times negative 5, which is negative 15y, equals 16 times 3, which is 48. And now I'm going to do the same for my second equation. 2 times 3x, which is 6x, 2 times 2, which is 4y, and this is equal to 5 times 2, which is 10. Okay, so that's the first step done. The second step is you are going to want to eliminate your x's that are the same. So let me just rule off again. And how you eliminate it is as follows. I'm going to write my 6x from the first equation here and my 6x from the second equation right next to it. What can you do to these 6x's to eliminate them, to turn them into zero? Well, it's quite straightforward. You just subtract them from each other. So I'm going to do 6x minus 6x, and this gives me zero. And this is what I mean by elimination. So because I chose to subtract them, I now have to do the same for my y's and for my numbers. And how that works is as follows. I did the top 6x minus the bottom 6x. So now I'm going to have to do the top y minus the bottom y. And that looks like this. Negative 15y, which is on top, minus, so this is where the minus comes in, positive 4y, which is on the bottom, and what does this give us? Well, I know a minus and the plus next to each other like this becomes a minus. So this becomes minus 15y minus 4y, which gives us negative 19y. Okay, so 6x minus 6x is zero. You don't have to write it. And minus 15y minus positive 4y gives us minus 19y. And this is equal to 48 minus 10, which is 38. And that's the second step done. The third step is to find y. And how we do this is by rearranging for y. This is why you need to know how to solve linear equations. This is where it comes into play. So in order to rearrange for y, I have to get rid of this minus 19. And this minus 19 is attached to the y through multiplication. So I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by negative 19 on this side and divide it by negative 19 on the right side. This is going to give us y, which is equal to 38 divided by 19, which is 2, and a positive divided by a negative is a negative, so it's minus 2. And finally, the fourth step is to find x. So let me just rule off again. And how you find x for the final step is you go back to the original equations and you choose one of them. And it's up to you which one you choose. It doesn't make a difference again. I'm going to choose the second one since it has a plus, and I'd prefer to deal with that. So I'm going to write down the second equation, the original one. And don't worry about these times twos. We're done with them. We don't need to use them anymore. So it's going to be 3x plus 2 times y. Now, instead of writing the y, I'm going to write down the value for y that we found, which is negative 2. So it's 2 times y and it's going to be 2 times negative 2. And this is how I write down my multiplication, using a bracket. And this is going to equal 5. 
So for the fourth step, you just choose one of the equations. I chose the second one. I've written it down here. And instead of the y in that equation, I've replaced it with the y that I found in step three. Okay, now you just have to solve this equation. And we're going to rearrange for x. So just to simplify this 2 times negative 2, we're going to have 3x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So adding a negative 4 plus minus is just a minus 4. And this is equal to 5. And now we can rearrange for x. So I'm going to get rid of this minus 4 by adding 4 onto both sides like this. And this gives us 3x, which is equal to 9. And now to isolate the x, it's 3 times x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3 like this. And this is going to give us x is equal to 3. And there you have it. We found y to be equal to minus 2 and x to be equal to 3. So step one is to get your x's or your y's to be the same. You choose. In this case, we chose x. Step two is to eliminate them. So that calculation, I just took it off to the side. And I decided that I'm going to subtract the top equation, bottom equation, in order to eliminate the x's. And once you've simplified that, you can now do step three, which is to find y, rearrange for y. And finally, step four, choose one of your original equations and substitute the value that we found for y in order to rearrange and find x. And there you have it, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.